please don't make me do any more. So deer, hares, red squirrels, but we couldn't find any hamsters until the final afternoon when we found, went to a different graveyard and there was this one hamster we just saw looking really far away and oh, it was amazing because then we went into that graveyard and there were hamsters everywhere. Vienna's Central Cemetery is the final resting place for over three million people. Yet it is far from a place of death. The Borrowers is a film I created in my third year. I produced, wrote, organised, filmed and made it, really. <laughs> and it's about the creatures of Vienna's cemeteries, including wild hamsters. So the idea came from just, I'd seen photos of wild hamsters and how cute they were and I really wanted to make a film on them and see them for myself. But living amongst the graves is perhaps the last thing you would expect to see. As summer ends, the black-bellied hamsters prepare for the harshness of winter. It is vital that they have enough food stored as they will hibernate through the coldest months, only waking once a week to fill their bellies from their food supplies. I couldn't see any films on them but a lot of photographs, so I hope that that meant they'd be relatively easy to find um, and I could do something different by filming the ones in Vienna. I've always loved wildlife. I didn't know that I would be interested in wildlife filmmaking. I didn't know it was a career option. Um, so I thought because I couldn't be a vet, I wasn't, I couldn't do science, I wouldn't do anything to do with wildlife. And just spending time outside with wildlife and filming it and sharing how I see it has just made it like, it's all I want to do, I know I want to do it. By the time I decided I was gonna make this film, it was August and Hamsters hibernate when it gets cold enough. I didn't know when. So I planned to go out um, to Vienna for four days in September, just towards the end. We had two days to film and like on the first day we saw, I saw more wildlife than I've seen in one day in the wild, like in a city graveyard. I saw deer, hares, red squirrels, but we couldn't find any hamsters. And on the second day, we also couldn't find any hamsters until the final afternoon when we found, went to a different graveyard and there was this one hamster we just saw looking really far away. And oh, it was amazing because then we went into that graveyard and there were hamsters everywhere. It was a lot of, oh, what if we might not find these hamsters? Might have to make a different film, but it all came together in the end and it was amazing to see them. Well this film for me was like a huge step up from my previous work. I was working with a crew in post-production which I hadn't done before so it was a lot more of a professional venture for me. I think on this my camera skills was what developed the most because I only had such a short amount of time to film so I had to get the shots. Normally if I don't get something I'll go back to the same place and get it uh, but I had to just do it so yeah just focus on not getting it all out of focus and stuff. <laughs> If you'd like to watch The Borrowers, a film about the hamsters in Vienna, then click the Vimeo link below and subscribe for more great student stories.